Hi, this is Rahman, and I'm here to talk to you about my poetry book, Novice. Um, this book is available on Amazon, and today I will read you some poems from the book. Um, I have always loved poets like Rumi and Hafiz. They are beautiful spiritual poets from the past who, whose poetry is still so loved all over the world. In fact, I recently heard that Rumi is the most read poet in the West here in the U.S. Um, I never believed that I could write anything like that. But uh, after years of reading their work, I, I suddenly had inspiration. Um, after spending some time in Turkey where Rumi's uh, burial place is, I came back to this country and I listened to a lot of spiritual music, which I really love. And my heart opened and I started getting these beautiful poems coming through. So I made a blog and eventually I made this book and um, it's just a beautiful experience um, to both receive and to read or listen to divine poetry because it's, it's a wonderful way to sort of open your mind and just uh, let go of the worldly concerns or belief systems. It's like an arrow of wisdom that just goes right into your heart and your mind is, is cleared with this new vision of truth that you receive. So I'm going to read um, and I don't know what poems will come up but I'm just kind of going to open and trust that the right ones will pop out and that you'll enjoy what you hear today. So. Earthly love. Earthly love is just trying to get close to what we have in heaven. Loving each other in form is only a sad approximation for loving the infinite, formless one. Except when it isn't. The royal treatment. We often feel we must make demands on our loves, don't we? And we struggle to receive the situation that we want. Now I have entered into a supreme relationship. There is no more negotiating of terms. I am guaranteed the royal treatment from here on out. A pleasing sweetness. There are times when a loved one of yours is in tune with you and knows what you need before asking and offers it to you. There is such a pleasing sweetness in that. That is how God gives. Misplaced affection. The heart is a battleground. Really, if you lose this territory, you will lose your life. I pray to God for those thousands of angels that he promises. For truly, one drop of love for any illusory thing, any object of misplaced affection, reduces me to my knees and vital energy drains from me. I cannot see the end of this war, but at least I know one thing, I will win. Neither ambition or aversion. God inquired as to how I feel about fame. I feel neither ambition nor aversion, I said. That's how we should feel about most things. Thank God he takes care of everything. If duality were reality, it would be impossible to survive. If other human beings were in charge of our well-being, can you imagine the chaos that would ensue? injustices, unkindnesses, spirits lost and broken. Thank God he really takes care of everything. My last prayer. Sometimes when I'm praying, I hold on to my words, tenderly thinking, what if this is my last prayer? It's like when you're writing a beloved and you don't want to end the letter without expressing your affection God, if this is my last poem, know that I loved you. 
So, if you'd like to read more, you can visit my blog or buy this book on Amazon. Um, it's a great gift and it's a great meditation tool for yourself or um, it's an enjoyable read to help you connect with the divine and find that divine love that, in, is, that is inside of you and all around you. So thanks for listening and take care.